up guys? Um, starting the pre-production process. Well, pre-production process already started, but continuing the pre-production process for our next shoot. I've got the Sweetwater products that I'm going to be working with. Um, packing those up along with some stuff from B&H to add to our setup. I'm not ready to show you my garage, but you can see the girls Thomas the Train and bikes and stuff. So yeah, uh, we're doing a video about some uh, triggers, Roland um, and a trigger model, so uh, module. So I am headed over to the studio to set up and uh, then we're shooting this Saturday. Um, so kind of going to lay the groundwork, get everything ready and um, kind of make sure I know the ins and outs of the triggers, work on some covers and uh, yeah, so here we go. Alright guys, we're here at the studio now um, and I've got a hand truck, a dolly full of Sweetwater gear and B&H gear. So I haven't even really talked about this very much aside from just mentioning random things in videos, but I'm actually a partner with B&H now and have my own page on B&H. So really quick, go check out my Sweetwater page and my B&H page. Both of those are linked below. Um, we'll, we'll get into uh, kind of the triggers and everything I'm doing to set up, but um, let me just kind of tell you the reason why I'm plugging these things, Sweetwater and B&H, is that's really the biggest way that you can support my channel. So one of my main goals is that I want to uh, add value to you. I want to create revenue for myself on YouTube, but I want to create revenue by adding value, not by asking for money. So like I've got merch, I've got merchandise, I've got hats, shirts, all kinds of stuff, but I don't really talk about it a lot because to me that's an ask. I don't want to say, hey, go buy my stuff and support me. Rather, I would say, hey, let me expose you to some really cool products, some stuff that I love that I think you would love too, and you can go purchase them. It's going to cost you the same. It doesn't matter, but if uh, you purchase it using my links, then Sweetwater and B&H say, hey, uh, you know, they're getting here because of Daniel Bernard or he's helping this process, which then in turn allows me to do more with Sweetwater and B&H. So um, if you want to support my channel, the number one way you can do that is by using the links. I've got a, a Sweetwater link below that's like the deal zone. I'll put a Sweetwater link just to the main page and you can save that link. That's my personalized link. So that way if you want to shop on Sweetwater, save it on your phone, save it on your computer, and just click there. It'll take you to Sweetwater just like normal, except it'll kind of go back to the fact that you watched this video and that'll let Sweetwater know. It'll tag on my affiliate page. Um, so that's how that works. Um, so I've got tons of great stuff from B&H too, like this massive softbox, this C-stand, this light. Um, so I'm going to be linking literally everything that I'm using. I'll reference it, but I'm going to link all that stuff below. Um, so yeah, we are talking about triggers. I've got a, a box full of rolling triggers and all kinds of stuff, which I'll do a very nice looking video about it, but this is kind of the behind the scenes vlog about that. And then also a bunch of B&H gear that is kind of the support system to create these videos. So um, I've got Sweetwater stuff to unpack and figure out. I gotta, today I've gotta figure out how to exactly to use the module. I gotta load my samples in. I'm also gonna record a couple covers this weekend. Um, so I want to do that and then I also have a, a couple of one-off videos from some really cool people that I'm excited to show you. If you haven't already heard about these companies, you'll find out when the videos drop. Today's setup day, kind of self-education, wrap my mind around the products that I'm using. That way when we come to shoot on Saturday, I'm just ready to shoot. I'm going to unpack everything and get to work. <laughs> clapper take one this is a cool uh, it's a mount but it's an isolation mount because it's got foam on the bottom so if you're using it as a tabletop it keeps everything quiet here we got ourselves a little lav mic we've got the Roland BT1 we've got the this is a mount for the module. All right, we got two brains. We have the TM1. This is a two trigger module. The TM6 Pro. This is hybrid drum. Triggers to go along with it. We got the kick trigger. We have the dual trigger or snare. For the toms, I just have the single trigger. Learning about together is the, these guys. So I'm going to talk about hybrid drums. And again, today I'm gonna to be working on samples, putting in samples um, into the TM6 and talking about how it would trigger this in like a live church setting. So the kit's all got a lot of work to do today. Uh, so I'm probably not gonna film quite as much and pick up this vlog later. Okay, really quick, I promise I'm about to get to work. But one thing I'm crazy about, you've probably seen this in notes already, is portable power. So 
This is not B&H or Sweetwater. I think I got it on Amazon, but it's just a battery plate. So this one's made by Andy Cine, and it's NPF to, you got D-tap out, you've got USB-C out, you've got USB-A out, and um, you can also power in. I think you can do USB-C in. 30 bucks or 40 bucks battery plate USB-C into a GoPro. So that means I can power a GoPro with an NPF battery, or my cameras, I can power this thing, my A7C, using a USB-C, just keep a battery in it, and then use that, or I can do D-tap to um, battery. But anyways, just the fact that I can power a GoPro with an NPF battery means that thing will time lapse for the rest of all time. So, anyways, I thought that was cool, because I'm gonna time lapse everything. So, all right, no more filming. I'm gonna get into learning the TM6 rigging up my drums and triggers on there and then finally plugging in samples that way i can understand how to teach someone else how to load samples make sure you can do this if you want to do a hybrid drum setup at your church so all right here we go for real I figured I could give you a little bit better unboxing point of view. So we're bringing the production value up a little bit. All right, so let's talk about what all we got from uh, Sweetwater because I've got to figure this stuff out. So this is the TM1, okay? This is, I don't know if it's the predecessor. I don't know the actual chronology of these, but this is two trigger inputs, okay? So this is, um, you can put two different things in here. I'm going to figure this guy out. It's got trigger one, trigger two in, and uh, it's got output um, and phones, and then it's also got USB-C. So what's cool about this is um, you can power it via uh, your battery. You can have it, you can, there's a place to put a battery. I'm assuming it's a nine volt. Yeah, nine volt. Um, but again, I don't want to speak about it too much because I honestly don't know. It comes with a USB cable, which I'm not sure how much opportunity it is to like MIDI or what you can do with it. Um, that's why I'm here. So anyways, this is the TM1, two trigger. This is not really the educational. This is the let's go on a journey together, friends, and discover what we have. Educational video will be the actual video where I know what I'm talking about. This is the I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, this is a um, clamp set, APC33. So, talking to the guys at Sweetwater, they're like, this is what it takes to mount this guy. So, I think this will work with either the um, TM6 Pro or the uh, TM1. We're going to figure that out. That's, I'm going to stop saying we're going to figure it out. Just assume I don't know anything yet. That battery. And then this is the TM6. TM6 Pro, much bigger module. Um, it's really cool. So this has like six physical um, buttons for each trigger. So I think when you hit the trigger, it plays, you know, what you're uh, playing. It, it like lights up the corresponding pad and you actually push the button to hear what you've triggered to what pad. That's cool. All right, we got a power unit. Okay, then we have the triggers themselves. All right, so each trigger comes with the quarter inch cable because it is a uh, quarter inch out. So this is the dual uh, trigger. So this mounts on the drum and then that little pad right there is the trigger. So that actually picks it up. We've got the dual trigger for the snare because I want to be able to get a rim shot uh, or a rim if that's what I want in the snare. And then I've got kick. The bracket looks different for the kick. And then the single zone. So, um, in addition to that, Sweetwater sent over some stands, uh, attachments, because you gotta have a way to mount some of this stuff. Oh, I forgot, the BT-1. All right, so the BT-1, this is just a sound bar um, because we are going to trigger the kit and also talk about um, adding some extra sound. So, I've got my Roland um, you know, kit that has the mesh heads, and then another one, I'm not sure what the name is, but just kind of the rubber, black rubber head um, or pad is a normal one and then they've also got this BT one which is like a bar that you can strike So I'm really excited about this. I think this is maybe my favorite 
um, way. It's really low profile, obviously easy to hit. Um, and so we're also gonna trigger this as its own instrument. Okay, so Sweetwater sent over two different um, symbol or stand attachments that you can mount uh, external instruments like the BT-1 or a pad onto. So this is a short arm uh, from Gibraltar and this is the same thing but a longer configuration depending on how you want to mount that. So, again, all this stuff, this is everything you need to create hybrid drums aside from maybe a couple more X, I mean a quarter inch cables to go out of your module into um, your board or DAW or whatever it is. So. Everything is linked in the description below on this video. You can check everything out. Um, but we're going to bring it over to the kit, get it set up, figure out how it works. Um, actually, I'm probably going to bring my computer over here and get samples loaded into this thing and figure out how to configure this guy and put some samples into this. So it's got an SD card slot. I talked to my friend Lewis, and he said uh, 32 gigs is the max. You got to put it in there, it formats it, then you take it out, and then you can put it in your computer load samples into the folders um, that the TM6 puts on the SD card, put them back in here and load them on here. So I'm gonna see if I can do that without using the manual. All right, putting the SD card in and we're going to menu. We're gonna to go to system, SD card, SD card format, execute. Are you sure? Okay, processing. All right guys, I've got it figured out. Pretty straightforward, I have the samples. I gotta make sure that the samples are wave format and 44.1 sample rate. A lot of samples are 48. Um, and so you gotta convert them into 44.1 if that's the case. You can do that in Ableton. I think you can do that in GarageBand even too. But so I've got a kick, snare, and like a clap. So I only have two imported sample sounds right now. I have a kick and a snare. Clap that's built in, and I've got three times. 